Okay, y'all. Right here, I got a um canvas frame, basically. It's what I got it for from the Goodwill. I only paid like 32 cents for it. But anyway, um, I'm going to discombobulate it. Sorry to whoever painted that. Apologies, but it had holes in it when I bought it. Anyway, so I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and pry all those staples out and then take my lime and pliers and pull them the rest of the way out. So, that's a good frame underneath there, y'all. But there was so much green paint everywhere. Um, I had to sand it down real good. I was going to stain it, but I couldn't go with that because of the green paint. So, I'm going to paint it black. Have y'all understood anything I've said? Anyway, I'm going to paint the entire thing. Inside, outside, upside, downside. Y'all know how to do it. And right here, I'm just measuring it out because y'all know I'm the worst with numbers and all that stuff. So... I want to make sure that I wrote down what size frame it was. Yay, see, I didn't forget. And I married it big enough so I could see and y'all could see. And I'm going to use five packs of five-gallon paint stir sticks. Okay, here, I'm just laying them across through there. Look where that router hit that, or the, yeah, sander something hit that that one. That's pretty. I wish I could have stained it. But anyway, well, I do stain it, but you, you'll see. I'm just marking there to um, see how long I need to cut them you know and here it's easy for me to do it like this um when I take it out to the miter saw just tape them all together but that was like too many so I uh tape them in sections and make sure you sent down real good now the side without the numbers I am gonna stain with that folk art uh wood tint and i'm just gonna spray the wood down because i first just missed it down not get it real wet just missed and put the stain on it because i don't want it as dark as it can be as it does show up i, I know what i'm saying but anyway and i'm gonna wipe it down with the paper towel and um here i'm just putting stain on the sides of it Woo! wow that was quick and then i'm gonna paint the other side with um uh, plaster chalk paint by Waverly. Now, there is uh, reason to my madness here, but the side that's going down that you're going to be able to look through the frame part and see, I'm doing white. Now, look, I'm going to put those one at the very end to make sure I'm straight. They can be as straight as can be. And I put them in there tight. I mean, tight as they can go. Um, I like leaned it a little bit and laid it down. See, look. So it could be double-sided. I think I might use that other side for a tray later. Put some handles on it, take it on and off, but it can be a double-sided sign. Anyway, and on my Cricut, I cut this out. I love this. Isn't it cute as can be? Um, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul, and healthy for the body. Yeah, I love that. Anyway, I'm just going to lay it down there and burn it shut down. Um... There is, there is more of it to come. I just, um, yeah, there it is. It was, uh, two different color vinyls, so, yeah. And look how pretty this is, y'all. I'm gonna put this in my living room. Look, I'm extremely allergic to bees, but I think the decor is so cute. I can't even, like, not even supposed to go leave my house without my EpiPen. <laughs> One flew in my car earlier. I rolled down my window, and it flew in my car, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to wreck and kill somebody. I'm going to die. Anyway, but, um, <laughs> anyway, it's cute decor. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Look at that. How pretty. Ain't that pretty? Oh, ain't that pretty. <laughs> I love that, y'all. And look, I mean, it probably cost me, I don't know, six bucks to make. You know, that's not bad, and it's big. Okay. I got two of those 8x10 canvases from the Dollar Tree. Basically going to do the exact same thing with them that I did with that big old giant one. Prime them up. Pull them out. Raw hide. Hit them up. Anyway, I want to show y'all. You get these magnets from the Dollar Tree. And you get these big old ones. And if you got a lot of staples or little tiny nails or anything, just get you one of those and grab it up real quick. And then just swoop it all off there in the garbage can. There you go. That's cleaned up easy. Of course, that one was broke. It never fails. I always get a broken one. And I'm just going to take some wood glue. If this happens to you, y'all. 
Excuse me. Just know, I, I'm going to take a brush instead of squirting it on there. Because I want to get it up in them cracks and stuff. And, yeah. So, I got those jumbo craft sticks from the Walmart. Um, and I'm going to paint them. Well, I paint them in plaster. And then I change my mind and I paint them in vintage mustard. Yeah. I love this color. Oh, it's it's chalk paint from uh, Folk Art Home Decor. And I'm just going to paint. Oh, I have 18 sticks there. I thought I was going to need 18, but I only needed 16. And I put my tape down. Y'all have seen me in the past put tape down and take my stuff to it so I can paint them. Well, you can remove it like that and take your tape and stick it to a wall while your stuff dries. <laughs> Oh, I'm so goofy. I'm a hillbilly, but that's how I do it. Anyway, and I'm going to paint those frames with um, that ink black chalk paint by Waverly. Now, these, um, the first set, I'm going to do side to side. And now look, I'm putting that down. You don't have to cut any of that off. But, um, oh, I busted my knuckle, y'all. I think I broke my knuckle. I busted my finger up. But, well... I guess I ain't showing you here. I thought I was going to, but I, but I, but I'm not. I reckon. Anyway, here, yeah. I think this is where I show you. But you're gonna have to lay it down on the back because we're cutting them side to side, and see how wide you need to cut them. Now, I'm using them miter shears. Now, if you push down real hard on one side because it won't cut through it, flip it over, find the line where you push down and push again. It usually cuts it right off. But you know that's not a guarantee. But anyway, so we're going to lay them down there, and we're going to do the same thing with these that we did with the first two. But, oh, that glue gun wasn't on. First, I'm going to fuss with that glue gun. But anyway, so, oh, there was something I wanted to show you. That's why I left always in here. Anyway, y'all, I want these really, really close together. Really close together. So, put it in at an angle a little bit, and then push it down. Like, shove them up in there. Get them as close as you can. Like, oh. Can you tell you what? I don't know if y'all can even tell that I'm going up at a little angle. Well, I meant for you to be able to see it. Anyway, look, I put those on backwards and none of stop me. Y'all let me put them sticks on that thing backwards. So, you know me, I can't handle that. I can't stand them. Uh, it ain't horrible, but I can't stand it. So, I'm going to fill it with um, that lightweight spackling because I got to fill them holes up. Oh, I was so sad over this. And on my Cricut, I cut out two of the cutest little bee things. Mm-hmm. They're adorable. And I'm just going to put... That's why I went sideways with that one. Put that down on there. Get it straight as I can. And burnish it down real good. Now, when you do this, you're going to have um some bubbles because of the holes in between it and then my line came up with it so i had to put that back down put it down there but anyway so you just gonna make sure you burnish that down real well i think that's so pretty now if you do the same thing i do and make this mistake you can sand it down but sand it like away from it kind of like dust it down knock that dust down off away from i don't know y'all yeah i know what i mean and i hope y'all can understand and then i paint it <clears throat> So, I got this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It was in the little bee box. <laughs> bee box. <laughs> anyway, and you got bees and then honeycomb and then gingham, black and white, gingham ribbon. And I'm just going to tack them all together. I don't glue them together. I just line them up there together and um, make the awareness bow. And I'm going to take jute and tie it on there, double knot it. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. And I'm going to wrap it around there real good and, and double knot that again. And then you can actually go in and separate that ribbon. And it makes the cutest little bow. Like, pull it out from there. And I do that for both the pictures. And on that one, I glue it on that corner there. And the other one, I glue it right smack in the middle. But, um, y'all, I got these little beads from Amazon. Look how cute they y'all work. And look at these little teeny tiny ladybugs. If y'all don't have to get them um, from my Amazon store, but you can, um, I have them listed in there. And I just glue one of them little beads to each beads. Nope, bees to each of them 
in the center of them bows. Anyway, I wish I would have made beaded hangers for these, but I didn't. I think it would have been really cute to do black and white and yellow beads. If y'all remake these, make beaded hangers for it. That'd be so cute. But aren't these adorable? Yeah, yes. <clears throat> so, I'm going to uh, put them on my gallery wall and have all bee stuff for the summer. And people say, gallery walls are out. Well, what people saying? Those people ain't coming to my house. Ain't none of the business. Anyway, all right. I got three of those little, well, two houses from the Dollar Tree and one of the little barns. That's from Valentine's Day. That first little house is from forever and a day ago, and that one's the new one that they got out. And I'm <clears throat> going to take my heat tool. Now, mine has a high setting, y'all, um, low and a high. Now, I don't know if all of them do, and I know with your hair dryer you got high and low but I, I put it on the high setting when I'm like trying to melt these things off there but if you keep it on the high setting those things actually will shrivel up and come right off that house I know some people had some fits with them I've never had any trouble with them whatsoever nope anyway and I do the same thing to remove my little roofs from my barn and my house mm-hmm yep Anyway, well, and my cricket spatula, I just pry that up all fair. Okay, now, <clears throat> I'm going to paint all of these black, back and front. Now, I got all the paper and everything off those with that. I showed y'all how to do it. Um, I think it was, oh, yeah, when I did my little church. So, that's how I got it all fair. And then, um, I got lazy, see, back and front. Got the, But here, I got lazy. I didn't take all the paper off because I knew you weren't going to be able to see it. So, anyway. So, here I got those jumbo craft sticks again from the Walmart. And I'm going to run them up and down my little barn there. And I'm going to stain, st 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 put that stain on, um, that was actually home decor wax. It's like antique wax. But I put that on there and wiped it off. And then I put some... Uh, white chalk paint on there and then I'm going to put some cashew chalk paint on there because I want it to look like that old barn wood like my little outhouse did and then I'm going to put some black on there black chalk paint just you know not not paint it completely but y'all see what I'm doing anyway <clears throat> so I'm going to cut off the ends of my jumbo sticks there so I can lay them against my little, yeah. I'm going to hot glue all them sticks on them. That little peak, at first I thought, oh, I won't need to do that because that roof's going to cover it. And then, I'm th and then I was like, no, I need to cover it because I just won't like that. Anyway, so, yeah, I just, yeah, surely I don't have me putting all of them on there. You all know me and my editing skills. Heaven knows that Hollywood ain't going to take me any time. I don't think that's only because of my editing skills either. <laughs> I think there's a lot more reasons, but for editing, definitely not. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let y'all see me glue every one of them little sticks to that barn. Of course I am. I thought y'all would be excited about that. I got hair in my mouth, y'all. Uh. Anyway, y'all need to be on the lookout because, remember, um, next month I'm going to be giving away my Cricut Cricut Eti Press, so I'm real excited about that. So that's coming up in May. But I love y'all, and I missed y'all so much. I'm going to try to get my videos back on Friday again. Um, things haven't calmed down exactly, but they've slowed down. So anyway, I'm just going to take my... Um, uh, not my craft knife, my, um, utility knife, and make sure you got a new blade in there, or a sharp blade, and you can cut that, those sticks right off from around the house, yeah, see, looks good, or that barn, anyway, I paint that black on the front, <clears throat> um, first I was going to paint it white, and I'm like, I don't know why I'd even paint it white, that don't make any sense, I may as well just paint it black when I painted everything else black, but I didn't, gotta make things hard on myself, anyway, so the little tiny house, I'm going to take my fingernail file, and I'm going to 
uh, sand that peak down off of it and round off those edges, those corners, you see, kind of make it more round off. Y'all see why in a little bit. I know y'all's like, you're crazy, what are you doing? Anyway, so, with my little house there, okay, I'm going to lay me out some painter's tape. A lot of y'all have seen me do this a million times. I put little, the little numbers on it, little letters, little wooden letters, um, tumbling tower blocks. So, these are the large craft sticks from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and I'm going to lay them out there, and I'm going to paint them all in white. <laughs> yep. And here, I'm taking the small, I know y'all just try to keep up, I, I did them all together and I just made a mess, but I'm taking the small um, craft sticks from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting them, I cut the ends off them, both ends, and I'm gluing them straight up and down on that little tiny house that we had. And of course they won't go all the way, so I'm just piecing them together. But we'll cover that up and, and, yeah, see, there, yeah. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to cut that stuff away with my, um, utility knife also. And send that down real good. And then I'm going to take one and I'm going to run it across from side to side on the very bottom. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take another one. And I'm going to make sure your thing sets down flat. Don't, you know, try not to put it on there crooked. And then I'm um, taking another one and run it over where those, to cover up them sticks where they met. So this, it looks like continuous sticks. Um, this is my silo, y'all. <laughs> I got my church. I'm making my house. I'm making my barn. And my silo, it's got to go with it. Anyway, so I painted it in steel by uh, Waverly Chalk Paint. Anyway, so with, with the large craft sticks from the Dollar Tree... Those are the ones I painted white. I'm going to, like, okay, some of them I run wholly across. I think I only, well, um, I think I only did two that way. But anyway, so I'm going to cut them out in little sections because I'm making siding for my house. Yeah. Anyway, see, I'm just going to cut them down. Yeah. And painting my house white. And I'm just going to see... And I know I could have ran it all the way across and it would look like siding, but, you know, it just, yeah, see? <laughs> I'm a dork, that's why. So, anyway, yeah. I just thought it would be cute to do it this way because I'm going to set this stuff in my living room because I think it's cute. I'm going to make me a whole little just place, I reckon. I, got, I guess I need a couple more houses and some garages and some banks there's banks everywhere i guess i gotta make me a bank but anyway i'm just joking so anyway that roof that came on that house was too small to me so i decided to take the large popsicle sticks from the dollar tree and make my roof bigger yeah but i'm gonna paint them black i don't know why i'm staring at i don't know what i'm doing y'all anyway i think i thought about using that stained one i'm just reusing one i've already painted before but i decided to make it black so i'm just marking off there where it's going to meet you see but i made a mistake i should have glued it down first and then marked off where it was going to meet yeah because yeah lay it down there and try to get it as flush as you can um so then i i laid it down there but i didn't remark it um, I just cut it by what I had it before. Yeah, bad idea. So I had a little teeny tiny gap, but it works out in the end. Y'all will see why. Anyway, yeah. So, I don't know what happened here. Y'all will see. So look, I went to cut it off and ripped my house, <laughs> ripped my roof off. Yeah. And then I'm clapping because I'm happy. So, luckily, I was able to pull that up all fair. But I take my heat tool. I thought I was going to have to take my heat tool anyway. And my Cricut spatula. And I'm going to scrape off all that glue that I had just put on there. And repaint me another part. And, you know, put it on there and all that jazz. So, 
Oh, here I'm taking six tumbling tire blocks and I'm gluing them, y'all see, side by side or end to end or y'all know. I had the worst time trying to describe this. I'm telling y'all, I'm a mess. Anyway, and I'm going to stain it with that wood tint by Folk Art. And I'm gluing my little porch on. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I'm like a, I feel like a, I'm like a little girl with, um, her doll houses or something, but anyway, I'm taking one of them and my dominoes, I don't know, I don't know what that was, those dominoes, uh, little wood pieces from Dollar Tree, and I'm painting me a door, and I'm gonna cut one in half, and I'm making me my two windows, yeah, that's what we're doing here, y'all, and... Look what a mess that is. That is awful. I'm going to sand them down. I try to keep my background clean, y'all, when I'm crafting. But these houses, I was just making a mess. Oh, those little flower pots, flower pots you get from the Hobby Lobby. And um, the, the, the they're wooden. But these ones are terracotta little teeny tiny ones. And I get them from Amazon. Now... Um, I'm going to paint the bottom half white and then like dust over the top part, but barely. And now I'm going to glue my little door on. I think these are adorable, y'all. They'd be it's so, it'd be so cute to put on tear tray, have a little, like, like, well, like I couldn't build the way my house is on a tear tray. It would just not work. But anyway... I mean, I got pieces going every which way, but loose, but, well, I could. I'm not going to say challenge accepted. Anyway, let me think about that. Anyway, um, and I'm just going to glue my little terracotta pots on my porch. I still got to make our bird feeder, you guys. Hey, I got to do some outdoor DIYs. Yeah, I told y'all I would, so I need to. But anyway, and I'm just going to put some little flowers in it. Hot glue some of them little flowers in it. Just random little pieces just glued down in there what I thought would be cute look at it it's so cute I fixed the windows and glue on a little um doorknob later so I'm I'm not gluing I'm painting the roof to my um barn did I did I leave ignore my big bucket head my forehead's bigger than my belly. No. No. <laughs> Nothing's bigger than that. Anyway, I take two of those little square pieces. You can just cut off little popsicle sticks. I just had them already pre-cut. And I glued my little barn doors on there. And I also put a little barn window up at the top. Um, and y'all see it at the very end. Well, but I didn't do it on camera. I don't know where I did and deleted it. You know, to be honest, I have no clue, y'all. I don't. I seriously think I broke my knuckle. Anyway, sorry, y'all. Anyway, I'm just taking that little marker thing from the Dollar Tree and marking, uh, yeah, X's there. You see, I wish I'd done just one big giant X on that, but it's done, so what do you do? And I got that little windmill from the Dollar General. It's so cute. And I got a little wheel, wheel barrel, wheel barrel, wheel. Anyway, from Dollar General. Those are those little bales of hay from the fall. And I'm going to glue two of them to the front of my barn. Look how cute you guys. There's my house. Look at my barn with its bales of hay. And the wheelbarrow. And my silo. I, glue, I drew a little ladder up the side of my silo. I just think this stuff is adorable, and it's going to go perfect with my little church, y'all. Isn't it cute sitting around the house? I just think it's cute. Or in the kitchen, on the shelf. You know. Come on now. You all know. Anyway, okay. I got that little vase from the Dollar General. It's got a bee on it with a honeycomb. You see that? Um... For dollar fifty, and I got got it last year. I actually got two of them. I got that one which yellowish, and I got another one that's just clear glass. Anyway, I'm gonna give it two coats of black chalk paint ink by Waverly, and those little octagon, hexagon, whatever they are. I don't know how many gons it is. I got those from <clears throat> the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna paint. I got I'm gonna use three of them. One that uh, vintage mustard. 
one white and one black. Now look, y'all. You could like set these up like this and it would stand up and, and put something like be humble, be kind, be happy, you know, whatever, and just set those up together. Or you can make a shelf like that, like a little run a dial right up the center of it and put one of those on each side as a shelf. Not me. I'm going to take um, 18 miller, 18 miller, 18 millimeter <laughs> wood beads and glue to that one and paint them yellow. And then this one, I'm taking, um, shoot, um, 14 millimeter wood beads and then on that one I'm doing 10 millimeter millimeter I can't I can't anymore with the wood beads and I'm making little tiny like risers but to go with my bumblebee stuff I think that's so cute <laughs> I think I'm so smart <laughs> I'm not as smart as I think I am anyway and I'm going to paint my little bumblebee, but I'm just going to paint it how I think it's cute. And it's going to put some yellow and white paint on it. Yeah, because I think it's adorable. Anyway, this stuff here could actually be boho by the time I'm finished with it. I'm like, dude, I bohoed it up. Boho, ho, Merry Christmas. Anyway, oh, and then I'm going to take a cheapy brush and I'm going <clears> to <throat> start off light because I'm scared. And then I'm just going to keep going heavier and heavier and heavier over that honeycomb till I get it how I want it to look. And it actually looks gold on there, y'all. It looks gold. Mm. <clears throat> and I just keep doing it. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Look at that. How it brought that out. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, and I'm going to take that honeycomb um, ribbon there. From the Dollar Tree. And you know how you tie a man's tie? Like if he's going to work or to Sunday school or something. That's how I'm tying this ribbon. Or, yeah. That's how I'm going to tie that ribbon down on there. And, um, you'll see why in a minute. Well, actually, there's no reason why. I just thought it would look good. <laughs> I just lied to you. I just thought it would look cute. Anyway, and then I'm going to um, tack that ribbon down to my jower all the way around it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay. And then those two jewelers I got from the Dollar Tree, those little, I've had those forever in a day. And I have a white one and a black one, so didn't that just turn out lovely? And I got one of my little, uh, honey dippers there. Got those from Amazon. And I'll stick it down in between my ribbon and my jeweler. And I'm going to take some succulents. Um, some from, those from the Dollar Tree, and, uh, those are from the Amazon, and those ones are from the Walmart, you know, just, you know, you know how it is, you just collect stuff. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm pulling them off that sharp thing. Yeah, and I put them in there, and put them on my little risers, and I think these are just adorable. Look at that. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute, y'all? This is everything, y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all mean so much to me. I'm praying for all y'all needs prayers. Y'all tickle me, make me laugh. I just, I don't know. Without y'all, I don't think, I'm telling you, I need y'all. <laughs> I need y'all in my life. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Have a blessed weekend. Big hugs. Mwah. Bye, guys.